What's up, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus, your favorite chart analyst, giving you the latest and greatest updates on these charts. And today we're going to dive in with some XRP. And if you are new to this channel and you like what you see and hear, comment and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications for future posts. All right. So always on my channel, I like to start off with my my list of the day. So to, I always start off with scripture. Then I'm going to give a shout out and then we're going to jump right into these charts. So today's scripture will be coming out of Micah 7 and 8. So it says, Rejoice not against me, O mine enemy. When I fall, I shall rise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. When we are going through hard times, a lot of people that don't like us or that have a strong opinions about us that look at our past and they don't see that we're trying to make a difference and change they will always be they will always look down on you and have a like a little uh snarky type of attitude towards you because they're 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 happy that you're falling and you're in a dark state of mind whether you're in depression or whether you're in a, a state that you don't want to be in people it could be people on twitter it could be people on social media it could be people at your job it could be people at home that are doing this to you and to be real about it people and we just people just have a sick thing about seeing somebody fall and that's the sad thing about people is we we don't have we don't show enough compassion or joy towards somebody when they're in a dark place but that's okay you know why because the lord said the lord shall be a light unto me so he, he said this when i sit in darkness when you're in your dark place the Lord shall be a light unto me, which he's saying to you that no matter what you're going through, he's going to be a light unto you in every situation that you go to when you give it to him and you have the faith in Jesus Christ to, 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 for him to move in your life. So don't worry about what people think about you, where you're at, what situation you're in, because the Lord's going to be a light into you, onto you, all right? So shout out goes to LaCour Laurence. I said that in France. <laughs> LaCour Laurence. Uh, it's his birthday today. So happy birthday, man. You deserve it. God bless you. You're an awesome subscriber and uh, becoming a good friend as well. We met. We haven't met in person, but uh, we talk in private messages and also uh, through Twitter. So I appreciate you, man. You're an awesome person and big shout out to you and enjoy your birthday, man. Enjoy it. So looking at these charts now, let's take a look at what's going on. All right. So XRP has been in a range between 32 and a half cents and low 21 and 254 cents. We've been ranging in this box here. So when we range like this in a market, what I like to see is for these two uh, moving averages, the Kijunsen and the Tinkinsen get back together, which is what's happening now. So this is starting to make um, it's starting to make its move, saying that price is going to start, you know, moving back to the upside. So I expect prices to move back up, uh, back to 23 cents soon. Um, right now. What I, I want to see is how this candle closes because once these two are like right in each other's face, because these two like to act as lovers, when they are getting closer together, uh, market is back in equilibrium. When the market's not in equilibrium, it, it tends to range. So we had a drop, now we have our base. And so, what's going to happen next? We're either going to have a breakup to the upside, giving us prices to the 25 cent level, or we're gonna have another drop breaking down here. So we could get this, a drop, the base, and then a drop, or we could get a drop, base, then the rally. So I'm expecting a rally. Um, all the, the, the good news that's been going on with XRP, you gotta look at the fundamentals too. The charts are saying that the fundamentals are there. Um, it's also building a huge Y wave. If we zoom out this huge Y wave. So you got to understand when you're building something on the level that ripple is building, 
that's the thing that people don't understand. The charts match what's going on in the outside world. When I say that, you have to look at the technicals and you got to look at the fundamentals together simultaneously to understand what's going on in the market. The fundamentals is what builds these these uh, patterns that you see in the market. The bigger the, the pattern, the greater the move. So XRP is going to do a, a major move, but who knows what time is going to be when it happens. Uh, it could be starting next year. I got the beginning of January here marked, so I'm going to be watching that very carefully. Um, I do think by the end of the year we'll be back in the 25 cent level or probably, you know, back up in this range here in the 28 cent level. I don't see prices going any lower. And the reason why I say that, because looking at the weekly time frame, we've been going nothing but up. And if I draw a trend line here, we haven't, we haven't broken this yet either. This is what I'm seeing. It's a, a triangle here. So I'm expecting price to get back up here, bounce to the upside, get back into here. Because, you know, when price is far away from Kijinsen, it wants to act as a magnet. So I'm expecting price, you know, touch in here, 25, 25, 26 cent level. And then the end of the year, you know, get back in here. Then, you know, slowly start to creep in range in here, then take off. So that's why I also got these dates also marked January 6th and March, uh, let's see, March the 9th. So these are dates that I'm looking at carefully. Short term, let's take a look on the lower time frames. Let's go to the four hour. Like I said, we're ranging here. So I expect us to start breaking that range, you know, sometime in this, uh, late, sometime late in December, if not sooner. Uh, that's why I have this date marked off. And y'all probably ask me how I'd get these dates. I can't let y'all know these secrets. <laughs> That's something I I, I I refuse to do for now. Because I think it'll be misused. But anyway, here, ranging still, we have a double bottom here. It looks like structure of the market starting to, you know, say we're moving to the upside. So taking Ichimoku off. You, you could see cleanly how the market's been following the structure. All markets have a structure, even the lower, like every time frame has its own structure that it has to follow before making its move it's either up or down. So you got this structure here, within here, this structure. If I could move this over here, it follows this structure over here. Market repeats itself it just you have to find the clues in the the data that it's telling you and that's what people don't understand how to read you got to understand all time frames and how they all work in conjunction with each other as well so that's why i pay attention to every single time frame and do my analysis accordingly so same pattern that we have on the daily this y wave here it's on the 15 minute time frame and also within this pattern we have somewhat of a uh head and shoulder pattern if i zoom in a little bit right in here head and shoulder so we got our shoulder we got our head and we got another shoulder so i'm expecting prices to start move up moving up to the upside uh this will be the neckline right here so once price breaks through here i'm expecting price to rally up to the upside um, looking at it on the 15 minute, looks like that's what's happening right now. We have to get above this here. Otherwise, we're going to make a double top here to come back down and then back up and just bounce back up again. So I want to see this neckline being broken first. I'm using a new method that I learned. This shows you the strength of the trend. So trend is changing. We broke underneath the negative 80 and now we're moving to the zero which will put us if we break above the zero that'll put us into a new trend so we could very well easily you know bounce back and come down so that's what i'm also paying attention to uh i just keep it realistic with you guys because i don't want to say you know blow steam up someone's you know you know 
I don't I just don't do that. I don't believe in that. So I my analysis, I think we're gonna go up. I say 22 to 23 cents. That's my analysis. I'm sticking with it. I'm not backing down from it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm right, I'm right. So I don't not care about being right or wrong. It's what I see in the markets and the data that I'm giving at the time. So this could very well change. I'm just giving you two scenarios of what to watch out for. If we break this line here, uh, this will definitely take us up because that'll be the neckline of the head and shoulders that I'm looking at so I hope you guys really enjoyed this analysis uh, I'm gonna look at one more thing um, we do have a bullish future here and I'm just waiting for price to break above this line because Chiku Span is already above price we have a bullish TK cross that's already three confirmations working for us price just needs to get above this cloud and Chiku Span needs to hold and break above here. So I, we may expect the range here as well. And uh, the range, I believe, before I go, if we do range, will be something like this. I'm going to go ahead and change that color into like blue. So we could get a range in here as well. So that's what I'm seeing, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this analysis. Comment and subscribe and let me know your thoughts about this video. And if you like what you saw and you're new and you made it this far, subscribe and hit that bell for notifications for future content. Love you guys. God bless you and take care. All right. Peace.